It's April, it's warm. You know what that means? Yeah. Time to go back to work. Hi, I'm Rhonda. I'm Angie. And we are Adventures in Nomadness. Well, it's April and it's really warm out. It's gonna be in the 50s and even the 60s this week. So it is time to go back to work. The snow is melting and we've got our beautiful birch pile uh, in back of us. So we can start stripping the bark off of that, planting the boards and then putting some polyurethane on. Not only that, see that beautiful RV that hasn't been used in a long time since November when we moved out. Uh, we get to pull that out of its spot that it's in, get it a little bit more accessible to move around and then start doing some work on that too. Maintenance time. Yay. Yay, I know, we're really excited about that. <laughs> Before we start working, I wanted to ask you a question. How long labor time do you think it takes for us to process about an eight foot by nine board that starts out looking like this and you get it looking like this. And by the way, hint, this is two coats of polyurethane. We're not counting the dry time. I'll answer that question later in this video. Sawhorses, important items in this process. We have four, so I'm gonna grab our other two. These are the better ones though. Okay. Well, at least the snow's not very deep. <laughs> I should get to film and I'm doing all the work, huh? Nice. Oh, nice. Always something that goes wrong. So I noticed a, a spot that wasn't getting planed down and I looked at the blades and there was a big old nick in both of the blades and you can reverse these. So we're gonna give that a try and that should work. And there's like this high streak that goes all the way down the boards. It's like, oh, dang it. Well, we have a couple boards that won't fit through the planer because it only does like 12 and a half, 13 inches or so, and these are over. So I have a few boards. One, two, three. Oh, more than I thought. It's like six boards here. Man, that's more than I thought. Anyway, these have to be pretty much hand sanded, but we have a belt sander, so this should take care of it pretty fast. So I got a pretty uh, heavy grit on here. I take the initial down, and then I'll go to a finer grit after that. So yeah, it'll take me a little bit of time. I love the planer, man, it's so fast.
Well, the moment has arrived. I am going to tell you how much labor time it takes to process an 8x9 board. Now this one is bigger than that, but I wanted you to see kind of generally what they look like after two coats. And the answer is it's about 30 minutes labor. So we did 20 boards and that took about 10 hours. Now we didn't do 20 boards and stop, so we did actually 40 and we did it over a four day period. So what we're showing you is a uh, little bit of that. But I also wanted to share some of the materials that you need and uh, I'll list that in the descriptions below. I'll also kind of break down some additional information about the time so that if you do decide that you want to take on a project like this, you have a little idea of what you're up against. Poor Blitz. <laughs> he had to have three teeth pulled oh. yesterday. Oh. And he's a little needy and needs our attention 24-7. Poor baby. Oh, he's getting his spunk back. Oh, our favorite coffee right on. Hey, but it's uh, April. We're back to work, but we're taking a coffee break. But what's really cool about this time of the year here sometimes, normally in a normal year, is there's tons of mountain climbers because it's the jumping off spot for Denali. And uh, a little bit more subdued this year, so um, mostly Americans, obviously, because no one can really travel still. So it's uh, at least there is a climbing season this year. Last year they completely canceled it. And uh, yeah, it's kind of fun to see climbers. Just had a nice little conversation with a couple of guys that spent a week up uh, between a couple of the mountains skiing, but there's Definitely a few climbers floating around right now. <laughs> well, Rhonda and I are kind of sad right now that yearling moose that we thought maybe had gotten kicked away from Mama uh, may, not, may not have been in the case. We're not really sure, but we went down the road just to kind of for a drive and there was a dead moose off on the side and it's kind of a young one, a yearling, and we suspect and it might be possibly because we're in the same area within about a half a mile of the moose that was hanging out here for a while. So it makes me really sad. So who knows why it died? Couldn't really tell. But uh, we haven't seen that moose hanging around for a while and it's in the same area. So that could be. We almost have room back in here. I think we just need to clear a little bit more space. We angle the truck in here, hook it up and move it away from all the rocks and stuff, make it easier to get in and out and do work on it. Before we start traveling this summer, there's a couple things we wanted to do, and one of them was to paint the plywood back here in the dinette, so we never got around to that. We've got the cushions pulled out, we're going to get those replaced as well, and let's get to it. As far as if you have to do this now, and we just kind of go the little bit extra step. We camp in here enough that we've had some serious condensation along the walls. We've got a little bit uh, of mold back here, nothing I'm really worried about, but uh, the kills will We'll uh, take care of that and then protect this plywood for future. I moved camp in here when it was so cold that the condensation has literally turned to ice. So we've had ice sheets back in here. So that'll help us when we camp in cold weather again. Blitz and I are saying goodbye for now. We'll see you in the next video. And please, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Till next time. <laughs>